Okay, so uh, we're continuing on. We're doing another page in the series of uh, PAR-6, and this is section G. Uh, it's going to be quite similar to section E, which was a waterfall. But uh, on section E, we did a side waterfall, and here we're going to do... We're going to do it a little bit different. Okay, so let me see. So what we've done in E, we've done a side waterfall that the belt goes side to side. And these is um, taller one, so they flap to the left like that. And over here, uh, I don't have anything. This time, I'm going to do it so that it will fall um, up and down. I'm going to add a pocket here. And I'm going to make the photo or the, the pattern paper as one. So you will learn that technique if you don't have different ones to just uh, cut it as one piece. Okay, so G1 is the base, which is six and a quarter by six and three quarters. And uh, this time I'm going to do the, uh, the fold on the top. Okay. I have two belt sizes, G2, that are one and three quarters by six and a quarter, and it is double scored. So it's double scored at half inch and at five, um, five eighths. And this time the belt is going to go top to bottom, not side to side. So the belt is two parts that are the same. It's narrow and they're going to be meeting each other in the middle and with a magnet they're going to close. Like a belt they're going to uh, keep everything that's underneath from opening up all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark our center. And if this is our center, I'm going to do this at two and a quarter from each side. So two and a quarter from here and two and a quarter from here. And same here, two and a quarter from here and two and a quarter from here. This is where my belt is going to go. And the next one,
going to go ahead and trim the edges. And put my magnets down so that I will not forget later. So I think I want to I want it to close up to down. So I'm going to put the magnet underneath the top part. Just put a little bit of glow. Okay, so it's about three quarters of an inch from the edge right there. And I'm going to bring it down. Okay. There we go. So that's my magnet is all set. Okay, next I have G3. I have three parts for G3 because it's a triple waterfall. So it's three of them. They're four and three quarters by six and they are scored on the four and three quarter side. Let's go ahead and fold. So again, the tape is on the bottom. I'm going to trim the edges around the corner so that I have uh, rounded corners. It helps. Um, so that I won't get bent corners. So I have one, two, three. The third thing I have is a G4. It's a pocket. It's three by seven quarters, seven and a quarter, and it's double scored on two sides. So it's not double scored two of them on one side. It's scored half inch on the left, half inch on the right, and again, half inch in a diagonal like that. And I'm going to trim the triangle where the two score lines meet. And this creates a pocket. And this will go underneath the third um, flap. And the last part, G5, is just a mat, and I'm leaving it for now, and we'll get back to it when we finish the page. Okay, so those three parts are going to go underneath the belt from top to bottom. So this is my top part, and it'll be about five eighth of an inch between them. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bottom part 
and it is a little less it's a quarter inch less than the base right the base is six and a quarter so this is six inches and I have um, eight of an inch all around it as a border so this is where I'm going to place it take this one and bring it down okay I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to mark five eighths of an inch here and five eighths eighth of an inch here the same thing on this side so my last mark again it's going to be an eighth of an inch from the edge this is where I'm placing the second and third flap. So I'm going to, just going to take a part of this out and I'm going to align it on the mark that I made about an eighth of an inch from the edge straight line with the first flap and now I'm going to press down here as soon as it meets the other mark that I made there and I can take this out and now it sits straight right on top of it I'm going to do the same thing with the third one the pocket is going to go here and I'm only going to take the bottom part out again I'm going to put it about an eighth of an inch from the edge because I don't want it to go over okay. And for now, it sits like this, and I will adhere it back to my top later. Okay, so this is what I have for now. This is my page. I have three pieces cut out. Two pieces that are six by three and three quarters, and one that is two by six. So one of these are, are going to go over here between the first and the middle um, flap. And what it's going to do is it's going to cover over here where I added the the, 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 um, the flap it's going to just cover it it's going to look nice and clean the second one is going to be between the third and the second And the two inch one is going to go here because the pocket will close right over it. So it's going to go underneath the pocket. Like so. 
so. And now I can take the pocket and close it over. Now let's see what pattern paper we're going to use. Now we're going to take one six by six and we're going to then cut it to several pieces to go over it here. So let's see what we have left from the papers. And I think I'm going to use this here. Okay, the rest of the paper now that I have left is the floral that I want to use inside my cover. So this will probably be the inside of the cover. And then I have this that I will use for my last page. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut this at not six by six because I still have to put it over the flap. The flap is six, so it's gonna be five and three quarters by six. Five and three quarters here on this side and six here. Actually, I can probably get away with five and a three quarters by five and three quarters. I don't know, but at this point, it really doesn't make a difference. I'm just gonna go five and three quarters and cut the whole thing here. And do six here. Okay, so I have this beautiful image to go right over here. So the first cut is going to be about here. It's going to be three and three quarters. Okay, so five and three quarters by three and three quarters. or four. I don't know if I need it to be four, if I need it to be three and three quarters. So let's just see in one second. This is a three by four. I need it to be four. Okay. So let's cut it at four. All right, so it's five and three quarters by Four. That's going to go over the first part. And then it's the other two parts going to go on the second and on the third. So let's just cut this in half at one inch and one inch. That's what I have left. So this will go here and this will go here. So it's the same image, just cut to three pieces. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trim the edges because I rounded the edges on the flaps. So I need to also round the edges on the pattern paper. This will go here, like that. This will go here, like 
that. And this will go like that. So it's one image cut into three parts. Okay. Now I need two pieces to go over here. Well, actually four, two on the inside and two on the outside. So that's four pieces that are five and a half by one and a half. And then um, I need one to go here on the inside. Okay, so on the pocket, it's two by five and three quarters. Let's see what we have. I still have this and I like that. Okay. All right, I think this will do. I think this will do quite nicely. So let's get four pieces, um, five and a half by one and a half, then it's three. And I have five and three quarters. Okay. One and a half. That's one. That's one and a half. That's two. That's three. That's four. And I need to cut all these to one and a half, to five and a half. Round the edges. One, two, three, and four. One that is two inches. I'll have this one. Okay, so two inches by five and three quarters to go over the pocket. Now I can actually do this one a little bit longer, a little bit more. I think I'll just take this and put it here. How about that? Just make it a little bit more interesting.
Okay, yeah, I like that. At this point, I'm just really using remnants that I have because it's the almost the end. I'm getting nearing the end, so I can use that. And do this one here. It's pretty. Okay. This one, put it here. This one I'll put on the second one here. And One, two, and then we're going to turn it around and do the other two.
Okay, and over here we want to do some kind of an embellishment. Let's see what we can come up with. We can do this here too, make it font a little more snazzy. the little envelope. Little flower pot in there. Maybe. Gonna glue it the really, really good all around it.
we can do something here if we want. I don't know if I want. Maybe we'll punch a hole here. a hole right there in the middle. Okay, kind of cute. If I want, I can tie it up.
I don't like this ribbon. No. I'll take another ribbon. Okay, that's better. A little bigger. A little better. Cute. Okay. I'm going to put something here on the inside just to make it a little more interesting there. I have these. That's one, two, three. One, two, and three. I'm going to do a tuck. I'm just going to glue the edges here.
one. Okay. So this way, if you want to put a picture and you can just tuck it in like that. And this will put it right in there. Okay, so this is G5. We'll go in here. This one. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take this and this one. Okay. This way and this point I'm just using this remnant that I have It's a little short. This is a little short. OK. 
Okay, I'm just going to trim this one here. Okay. Doing the rub on. Okay, I need an E. I have an E. Love you more. Okay.
he's so cute. It's gonna go right in there for journaling. And it's done. Okay, how cute is this page? Okay, I'll come back. We'll do the final page in this uh, series. I'll see you in a little bit.